Mr. Gordon. For you, Sally, always. Uh, well, I, I'm sorry to bother you, but I was just wondering if there was any chance of any overtime. What, tonight? Oh, no, no. Well, yeah, any time, but I wasn't expecting tonight. I don't expect you to just drop everything. It's no all. trouble. If you want overtime and there's work waiting, why not? That would be great, because there's so much we need to do on our house. Of course. Got to look after our best machinist, haven't we? And I know the garage is struggling. But it's really not that bad. Did you ring Carter's yet about that late delivery? Just about to. So, two hours tonight. That's great, thank you. You know what's got to be here by tomorrow morning if we're going to complete that order, don't you? Better call them, then. Me? Well, since you're here and you're on it anyway. But you're meant to be chasing it up. Where are you going? Sorry, I've got to be somewhere ten minutes ago. And don't let them pan me off with any old rubbish. We want what we ordered, or nothing. Mr Gordon, glad we caught you. Um, only, we don't think it's right for her. You know that Sally gets overtime and we don't even get given chance of it. Sorry, am I missing something? Well, it's normally offered around, Mr Gordon. Tell me, do I look stupid? Of course not. Does Mrs Connor? Well, sometimes she wears the... No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Then why do you think we don't know what we're doing? Uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> we were only asking, because it's how we do things. Always have. Do you know how I always do things? Always have. I make a decision, it happens. It's very simple. Questioning it is not an option. Oh, so being fair to everybody doesn't come into it? No, it doesn't. Good meeting, then. I've had better days. Nothing that can't be sorted. That's good. So why all the tension, then? There's a lot riding on it. Isn't Kelly giving you a lot of about Sally? They won't again if they want to keep their jobs. You know, I am a bit curious. Why are you giving her the opportunity to earn more? Why are you squeezing Kevin? I think it's worth a couple of quid to have her chirping in his ear about what a nice guy Tony Gordon is, don't you? You're making sure she's not slacking. It's Friday night. She shouldn't be working like this. Yeah, well, she did volunteer. Because we're desperate for the money. After what Tony's doing to my dad. Yeah, well, he could solve that by taking up Tony's offer, couldn't he, you know? Yeah, but he doesn't want any offer. He wants his garage. Yeah, well, it's got nothing to do with me, really. But it's to expand the factory. You'll get loads out of that. <laughs> yeah, but... Look, Rosie, it's difficult. Somebody needs to get him to lay off my dad. And if you can't, or won't, maybe I could get Liam to. Liam? This has got nothing to do with him. Yeah, but he's a mate of Tony's. You could talk to him. If I persuaded him to. There's no need to involve Liam. Now, if this isn't sorted out by the time I get back on my business trip, I'll do my best. OK. Rosie? Hmm? You do know how much I value you, don't you? I mean, not just for the work you do around here. As a mate. As a confidant. Thanks. I mean, I rely on you so much. And, well, while I'm away, I'd like to be sure that you're looking after my interests, looking out for me as a mate. Of course. I mean, the stuff you don't need to be talking to anyone else about. Not Tony. Not, well, not anyone. Carla. You can trust me. Mm. Honestly. Thank you. 
Listen, I know your mum won't have made much tonight, so... Well, this might help. <laughs> yeah, it, it does. Thank you. And don't be telling anybody else about that. It's between you and me, all right? Yeah, of course. Have a trip, Carla. Thanks, love. Mm. <laughs> Fancy a drink with me? What, in the pub? Mm, I'll stick to soft drinks. <laughs> Actually, yeah, come on, the weekend starts here. You know, it's one thing getting Sally on side, but don't misjudge Rosie. Your little mini me. <laughs> Never underestimate the potential a teenage girl has for troublemaking, especially that one. I'm sure you keep on a tight rein. Yeah, but I'm going away, aren't I? Carla, my love, you know I don't trust anyone and I'm not going to lose a minute's sleep over an empty-headed bit of fluff like Dozy Rosie. <laughs> and neither should you. 